Listen, honey, I know ever since you got in that fight with Leah, things haven't been the same. And I know this year wasn't the way you planned it, but you do have to go to school. Ma'am, I don't have any friends at school, okay? There's no point in going. Deanna made a fool out of me. She did exactly what she wanted. And she won Josh. I can't believe all this happened. This was year was supposed to be the best year of my life. Graduating? Finally getting with Josh. Honey, I know. But there's only two weeks of school left, and maybe you can fix these things. I can't fix them. It's been like this for months. I know you want me to go to school, Mom, but I I just don't feel like going. I'm sick of going there every day and being alone. It just it's another place to remind me how much of a loser I am. Honey, you are not a loser, and you are going to school today if you like it or not. Deanna's gonna have another thing coming when you two graduate, alright? Because the real world is nothing like this. Now get your stuff, we're going to school. <sighs> alright, Sierra, you only have two weeks of school left. You can do this. Hey, Sierra. I haven't seen you around school lately. Deanna, get away from me. I'm done doing whatever you think this is. A game between two friends, duh. Winning over someone's feelings is not a game, and it will never be. And we're not friends, so I don't know why you just said that. You know, you ruined my whole senior year. I have no friends. Dale doesn't even talk to me anymore. I mean, Josh, he's always up your butt, and he never says hi to me or anything. You know, I got in a fight with my cousin Leah, and she's not even here anymore, and I can't even apologize to her because she won't answer the phone. This is all your fault. Just because you you thought it'd be fun to play some dumb game? God. And the worst part is, you don't even like Josh the way he likes you. You're just playing him. Well, how do you know that I don't have feelings for him? Come on, Deanna. You're the freaking school slut. We know that you don't like him. Well? I can't say that I didn't enjoy my time with him, but I am getting kind of tired of him, but... Don't think when I let go of him, he'll come to you, because he won't. That's okay, I don't want Josh anymore. You can have him. Wait, you don't? I was actually going to be generous to you, Sierra. <sighs> well, generosity sucks coming from you. I'm just done. I don't want to date anybody. I don't want to talk to anybody. I'm just done with high school. I am sick of it, and I'm sick of you, so I don't know why you keep trying to come over here and patronize me. Just go away. You know what? This conversation is... Pointless. I'm done. I knew I shouldn't have come to school today because I knew you were just going to come over here and just do what you're doing right now. You know, you want to know why Josh doesn't like you? Why? What's your reasoning? Because he wants a real woman like me. Oh, a real woman? Deanna, you're the fakest person I've ever met. Okay? Bye. Oh, wow. Hey, what's wrong with her? I think I broke her. 
Get out of my way, you stupid cat. <laughs> Honey, what happened? You weren't even at school for 20 minutes. What do you think happened, Mom? Deanna happened. I never want to go back to school. I don't even care if I graduate. Honey, Mom, just get out. Sierra? Josh, what are you doing here? Well, your mom told me that you were really upset as of late and I decided to come visit after school. Are you kidding me right now? I've been out for almost a month. A month. And you decide to come over because my mom calls you? No, it's just, I just didn't have time. Oh, I know you didn't have time. I know you didn't because you were probably with Deanna the whole time and you probably didn't think about me at all. You are the worst. The worst best friend I've ever had. And you know what? I'm glad you came over because then I can tell you how I feel about you. You know, because she's made a big enough fool of me this year. So why don't I just make a bigger fool of myself, Josh? Hmm? Wait, Sierra, I'm confused. Deanna would never do any of that. Oh, Deanna would never do... Stop pulling that crap, Josh. You know what? I have three words for you. I hate you. And if you didn't understand that, I'm sure you'll understand this. Ugh. You know, and the worst part about all this is that I used to like you. I really used to like you, and you just never saw it, okay? You were just like, oh, I need to be popular, I need to be with popular girls. Well, I didn't want you to be anybody else. I like you the way you were, but you were the biggest jerk I've ever met in my whole life. I can't believe you just never saw that I liked you. You never saw it. And, and if you'd like me now, which you probably don't, you can just forget about it. Sierra, just calm down and listen to me. What? Okay, I never liked you back because I wouldn't do that to do. What are you talking about? Do what to do? Because, because Dill's always liked you and I didn't want to become between you guys and I get it now. Wait, Dill's always liked me? Yeah. <laughs> you liked me and... And Dill liked you, and I liked Deanna, and Deanna doesn't like you. <sighs> it's just a big line. It's not even a triangle or a rectangle or anything. <sighs> Dill actually has feelings for me? Yeah. Oh my god. And this whole time I've been a jerk to him. You've been a jerk to me, and I've been a jerk to Dill. <sighs> oh my gosh. And I'm not even any better than you or Deanna. Where is he? I need to apologize to him. He should be at home. I'm gonna go talk to him. 